Welcome sa sipnayan.com uh, In this video ay tutuloy natin ating series on conversion and in this video ang gagawin natin is to learn how to convert fractions to percent, no? So, uh, may dalawang pinaka-general method, no? Kung paano ba gawin nga uh, 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 percent yung isang fraction, no? Uh, kung maalala ninyo, ang tinuro ko sa inyo ang percent, ay ibig sabihin ng percent, no? Meron tayong series pala sa percent before, no? At uh, sinasabi natin, pag sinabi natin percent, yung yung word na cent dito is ay bisa niya ni centum centum which means 100 no so pag sinabi mong percent meaning per 100 no so ang pinakamadaling strategy is gagawin mong 100 yung denominator no so something over 100 kung pwede mo i-convert ang isang fraction na mas madali ka o na mas madadalian ka na ang denominator niya ay 100 by multiplication or by division, no? Then, uh, yun na yung pinaka-percent natin, no? Kasi pag sinabi natin 25%, ang ibig sabihin yan is 25 over 100, di ba? Pag sinabi mong 2%, that means 2 over 100. So, if you can convert a fraction to a fraction or to an equivalent fraction such that the denominator is 100, then, kuha mo na yung percent na yan. Okay? Tignan natin yung application dito, no? For example, yung number 1, 3 fourths. Paano ba natin makoconvert yung 3 fourths sa, sa fraction, equivalent fraction na ang denominator niya ay 100? No? Anong gagawin natin sa 4? Diba? Paano siya maging 100 yung 4? Magmumultiply tayo ng 25, di ba? So, 4 times 25 is 100, di ba? Tapos, Ang pag nag-multiply tayo ng 25 sa baba, dapat mag-multiply din tayo ng 25 sa itaas. So, 3 times 25 is 75. So, pag 100 na yung ano niya, 100 na yung denominator niya, yun na yung percent mo. So, this is equal to 75 percent mo. Yun yung pinakamadali. Okay. What about sa number 2? What is 4 fifths? No? 4 fifth to percent. 4 fifth. Ano pwedeng gawin natin sa denominator para maging 100? By the way, multiplication lang ang pwede. Ah, na, na, kasi we're talking about equivalent fractions. Hindi ka pwede mag plus 95 dito para mag 100. That's wrong. Dapat, it's either multiplication or division lang. So, anong pwede natin i-multiply sa 5 para maging 100? Times 100. Uh, times ilan? Times 20, di ba? Times 20. So, magiging 100 siya. And, of course, magta times 20 ka rin dito sa taas. So, pag nag times 20 ka 80, which is equal to 80%. Pag nag 100 ka, percent na yun, no? Ang isang way is, uh, dito gawin natin sa number 3. Again, we're, we're talking about equivalent fractions, no? So, kung naalala nyo yung pagkuha ng equivalent fractions sa uh, uh, addition and subtraction of fra fractions, pwede natin gawin yan. 7 over 10. Di ba sabi natin gusto natin ng 100? So, 100 divided by 10, di ba? Manalala nyo, papunta dito by division. And then, yung result dito, multiplication natin. This is multiplication. So, 100 divided by 10, that's 10 times 7, 70. So, that is 70%. Pareho din dito na 100 divided by 5 is 20. No? Tanggalin muna natin para hindi nakakalito. Okay. So, 100 divided by 5, that's 20 times 480, di ba? Tapos dito rin sa kabila. 100 divided by 4 is 25 times 3, 75. No? So, pwede kang by uh, multiplication, multiply mo yung numerator and denominator with the same number. Basta ang uh, denominator yung magiging product 100 or pwede yung by equivalent fractions. No? Okay? So, number, so this is 80%. 
and this is 70 percent okay what about sa number number four five over eight ako mahirapan tayo mag ano no mahirapan tayo mag uh, hanap ng number para maging 100 no but of course you can use it uh, you can use your calculator no but another way no is division di ba kung naalala nyo before um, sa previous video pwede natin muna tong i-convert sa decimal and one way of converting to decimal is by manual division no so 5 divided by 8 so magiging um, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 divided by 8 cannot be so magkakaroon tayo ng decimal point so 0 lang dito tapos magdadagdag tayo ng 0 para maging 50 siya 50 divided by 8 ilan yan? 6 pa yan? Tama. 6 times 8 is 48 and then mag uh, minus tayo magiging 20 magdadagdag ulit tayo ng 0 and then 20 divided by 8 is 2 diba? 2 times 8 is 16 and then we subtract it's 40 40 divided by 8 that's 5 no? 5 times 8 is 40 this is 0 no? okay. so pag sa decimal magiging 0 0.625 sa decimal no? so pag nag decimal tayo to percent no? and decimal to percent you multiply the decimal by decimal to percent you multiply the decimal number by 100. No? So, ibig sabihin, magiging equal siya sa 62.5%. Kasi mag-multiply tayo ng 100, usod tayo ng how many decimal places? Two decimal places to the right. Okay, pwede natin gamitin ulit yung uh, uh, multiplication dito. Pero again, we can also use uh, yung division. No? So, gagawin natin, gawin muna natin siyang improper. Magiging 2 times 4, 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. And then, pwede natin gawin, uh, uh, tawag dito. Pwede natin gawin yung multiplication strategy kanina, di ba? O yung... Uh, equivalent fraction. So, 100 divided, by, we want the denominator to be 100. So, lagay na natin 100 divided by 2. That's 50. Times 5 is 450. So, that is equal to 450%. O kaya, pwede natin yung method, isa bang method, uh, 9 over 2, kanina. So, gagawin natin is, Paano magiging 100 yung 2? Mag-multiply tayo ng 50. So, magiging 9 times 50. That's still 450 over 100. Which is also equal to 450. Or 4, 450%. No? Or kung gusto nyo yung manual division, 9 divided by 2. No? 9 divided by 2. This is our met method 3. 9 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And then, uh, we subtract 10. We add another, uh, we add a decimal point, 0. And then, also a decimal point here. And then, mag tayo na 0, magiging 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so we have 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang equivalent nito in decimal number, this is... 9 over 2 is equal to 4.5, no? And sabi natin sa decimal to percent, multiply the decimal by 100, so magiging uh, 4 point, dito na lang tayo, 4.5 times 100, that's still 450, which is 450%, no? Decimal to percent, ito yung percentage niya. Okay, so that's it. Meron tayo na tatlong, ano, no? tatlong strategy. Pwedeng equivalent fractions, pwede tayo or uh, first strategy is pwedeng um, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Pero ang dapat natin da by multiplying, dapat maging 100 yung denominator. The second strategy is the, the equivalent fractions. Nalagay na natin yung 100 
sa denominator and then we divide and then we multiply. No? We divide the uh, uh, 100 by the denominator and then multiply the result by the numerator and we get the uh, in percent equivalent. No? And lastly, we can divide manually. Tapos pag nakuha na natin, magiging decimal na siya. And then we multiply the result by 100 para siya magiging percent. No? So siguro, we, have, we will have more examples in the next video. Maraming salamat. Gusto ko invite sa sipnayan.com. No? And of course, you can uh, visit our YouTube channel. Uh, pwede kayo mag-subscribe para mas uh, mas informed kayo pag meron tayong bagong video. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.